We are really limited in the amount of safe places we can offer in Prosser. Some of the concerns would be, are they actively engaged socially? And if they are, then is it quality time and is it positive behaviors? Some risk factors that we're concerned about in the Prosser community are a lack of involvement for our youth, not having a place to go, something to do on the weekend. It's about having a person to connect with, um, someone to talk to. And these are all areas that uh, I believe ShareHouse can help I think we have a lot of um, drinking and I think a lot of kids are feeling really alone right now and just I think they really do need a place where they can go to have positive role models and people who will support them through whatever it is they're going through. I think a lot of kids don't have that connection or friendship. Sometimes our kids, whether they come from broken homes or they're after school and they have idle time on their hands, we feel like if they had a good place to go where they're being mentored, they're making the right choices, they're working with like-minded people, it's going to have nothing but a positive impact on whether it's school work, whether, like I said, making the right choices. Everyone wants to be able to feel safe, and I think that this right here would be a perfect opportunity to be able to have some of these youths feel secure and feel wanted and actually have a, a purpose. I think it would be a great program, and I think it's well needed. I think we need adults to come aside um, along with teens to help them just, I don't know, figure out they need positive role models. Like, that's a really big issue. We've all heard the phrase that it takes a village to raise a child. And, and I think that right there would be a perfect opportunity to be able to do that, especially when you start having adults from a wide spectrum of backgrounds. their backgrounds or experience of those types of things, be able to actually deliver certain messages to the kids. Kids are, are much more easily influenced than adults are, and so we need to capitalize on, on that in a positive way, if at all possible. Having a mentor, you know, to talk to, um, bounce ideas off of, or someone to hang out with on the weekends, um, someone to promote positive activities, um, someone to promote positive mental health, have that community connection, um, and then just overall making new friends. Like, who doesn't like that? There's no better feeling to feel wanted in an organization or a program. You know, all of us want to be able to succeed and actually be wanted and cared for from somebody that actually loves them or actually have made a substantial step in trying to give them the guidance needed to be successful. What Commissioner Small is saying as well is, is what you're fighting, and I don't want to sound like doomsday, but you're competing against groups like gangs that attract kids for that same thing. They want to be wanted, loved, liked. People need that. They, they need that socialization you know, with other people. They need to belong, a sense of belonging. I think that a faith-based program will be beneficial for youth because it will help them um, learn the love of Jesus. I know that God has definitely changed my life in ways that you know, I cannot say. So they would learn um, the ways to live a good life, a successful life. This is very much needed and I'm so grateful that it's happening here.